people have large expectations of police. Uh, they expect us to be able to handle a lot of problems, which aren't really uh, within our resources. But we are the initial responding agency, and we do have to get people into a better position than they were than when they called us. Okay, this green Ford Explorer just pulled in, got swarmed by drug dealers. Um, they just handed some money out. Uh, he summoned these males on the side. All these drug dealers approached his car. He made a purchase. We'll see if we can catch up to it now. Later on a call outside on a... It's going to be a blazer or something. If we can get across this avenue. 7 headquarters. Can you cross that east 39? <laughs> Two seven eight 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 Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Tongue up. Spit it out. Spit it out. All that for one? I don't have any. I swear to God. How come you don't have any? I arrested you already. You arrested me. Yeah. Locked door. Just doing a favor, that's all. Well, this is a stupid favor because you're under arrest. Anything else in your mouth? No. Hands behind your back. Stop moving around here, Sporto. Stop moving around, bud. Hey, you're under arrest. You got the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. You got the right to an attorney. If you want an attorney, you can't afford one, one will be provided. When you start to answer questions, if you want to stop anytime you want, you can stop answering the questions. Hey, anything in your pocket, Sharp? Knives, razors, needles, nothing, right? Eh? Any more drugs on you? Do you have the stem? Or just this? Yeah. Where's the stem? Uh, in the front part. This part? Yeah. Just the only stem? Yeah. How much do they charge you for a bag? Yeah. How much do they charge you for a bag? Uh, eight dollars. Only eight? Nothing else in here? Needles? No, I don't know. Crack's the only thing you do? You don't do heroin? Yes, I do. You do heroin too? Yeah. No heroin on you though? Because okay, you get strip search when you get inside, you know that, right? Yeah. All right. What's this? That's my friend's. It's your friend's. It's in your car. I smoke a little pot once in a while. Smoke a little pot once in a while? Yeah. Got any pot on you now? Um, not at all. Nothing. You're under arrest. You want to go right? Yes. It's called loitering with the intent to purchase drugs. You came to these projects with one reason, one reason only, my friend for in. her to buy drugs. Okay. You tell your story to the judge, I'll tell my story. You also have drug paraphernalia in your vehicle. I have a seat in the back of my car. Can I have one cigarette? You're about to blow it on me. Sorry. Go ahead, have a seat in the back of the car. All right. Does he have okay. drugs on him? No, he doesn't. Have a seat in the back. Right. Can you have this cuffs a little bit? Cuffs are on, sweetheart. Have a seat in the back. Let me get done with this guy. Search is complete. Uh, as I approached the vehicle, I was suspecting the passenger the whole time because that's where the drug dealers were up on that side. Uh, we have a bag of crack. Okay, in her possession, in her purse, she also had a uh, crack pipe. And then search of the vehicle revealed a pipe with the odor and a residue of burnt marijuana. That was in common possession. That was in both their possession because it was in the vehicle. So he'll be charged with loitering with the intent to buy drugs because he drove her here so she could buy the drugs. He's also charged with the marijuana pipe because that was in his vehicle. She'll be charged with a crack pipe because it was in her purse. She'll be charged with a crack because it was in her mouth. Where's your credentials back? You drove over here to buy drugs, okay? That's loitering with the intent to obtain drugs, okay? You had a marijuana pipe in your car, okay? Separate criminal charge. Possession of crack in your motor vehicle. Okay. This, this, on her, not my vehicle. this ain't your car? This is my car. Was there crack in here? On her possession, I don't know. Okay. You have to be in Patterson Court tomorrow. 
Sir, you have criminal charging it. You have a right to get a lawyer. I would advise you to get a lawyer. Okay, you don't take advice from me because I'm the adversary. I'm the other team. Yeah. But you know, I would get myself a lawyer because you're looking at some serious charges. I respect law enforcement. Okay. okay. I just thought I was just giving this girl a ride. Next thing you know, we end up in this place. Yeah. You know? I respect you. Okay. Okay. I respect you and I treat you with respect. I just thought. But I was I'm gonna just... tell you, you made a, a, yeah, an egregious error in judgment here. Put on your seatbelt. Proceed home. Make sure you go to court tomorrow. You know, how many times have you been arrested? I have uh, twice. I have two uh, soliciting charges, which I combined into one, which I plea bargain to a 30-day program. OK. How many uh, drug charges you have you had? None. You have no prior drug charges? None at all. Well, you know what's going to happen then. What? I mean, there's a good chance that you can get pretrial intervention which is going to say you don't really have to plead guilty, OK? Judge asked me, how was she? Cooperative and polite. She's, you know, she seems like a person who wants to get herself on the right trail. No reason to put her in jail, use up a good jail space for a person who wants to help herself. OK, that would like, again, you want to get a lawyer, you don't want to take my advice, but that's the type of thing I've seen happen in this type of case with a person like yourself. Okay.